somewhere to stay for a month and we had this place pre-booked and you know you just assume that as a host you would like clean it and it literally was this dirty just how dirty it was guys we're not even exaggerating and thankfully airbnb was able to resolve this for us but it's just very inconvenient especially when you're trying to stay somewhere for a month but Thank you, God. We found this other cool Airbnb that we do check in tomorrow for two weeks and then somewhere else for two weeks. I just think it's absolutely insane to have someone stay in your home and it's like completely lived in. Another thing they did was false advertise the room and the bathroom. And it's crazy. It's just completely disgusting. The cancellation policy was no refund but we had enough evidence to prove that they completely false advertise, not livable, it was very disgusting. But anyway, my first Airbnb nightmare. And now I just am more aware of like the science cause she had like a lot of at home things in some of the photos, but now we're messaging the host. We're asking if they live there and we're paying attention to the photos because you can kind of tell like if the fridge has some things in stock like she did she had like half used ketchup bottles those are some signs we found an apartment guys so on march 1st this will no longer be a concern of ours okay we have officially signed a lease which is super exciting and airbnb i'm kissing you goodbye <laughs>
we're staying at Radisson Blue and it's right next to the Porsche dealership so it's like Porsche themes everywhere it's only been open for three months artwork is pretty nice where we're at now is also really close to the city Airbnb has been a terrible experience but this is a cool reason to have a little staycation watching a movie and having some wine and ordering some takeout because I be cooking so much. The curls are coming back. I'm gonna keep showing you guys where my hair goes because this is not where my hair naturally is. As you can see, this right here is completely damaged. It's not even curling. And luckily behind my ear, I can just hide it. But yeah, I'm gonna keep documenting my process or just like the improvement of my curls. And I'm just trying to get them more defined and bring them back to life, but we're getting there. If you can see in like my other videos, my hair is in the front completely dead. In the back, it's really curly. We're getting there, guys. This side is a lot more healthier than this side. I got some stuff from Sephora. I went to a little Sephora haul because it's about that time for me to replace and re-up on some things. I did do my current little natural beat with the things I got but I need to go back and exchange a couple of things because they're not completely what I'm looking for even although it looks really nice I did forget to get an eyebrow brush I personally want to start minimizing my products especially with this Airbnb nightmare like moving all of my stuff all over the place and like traveling so often it just becomes a lot more complicated when you have a ton of shit I want to minimize the amount of products I have. Normally, I carry about three of these, like two of makeup, and then one bigger one with like my soap. And I'm gonna start getting like little travel size containers for my soap and conditioner. And I'm gonna just have it ready for the weekends that I spontaneously go to places. But yeah, there's some products that I already know. My skin tone is a lot lighter right now throughout all of my old makeup. So I have a lot of summer makeup. I got the Sephora contour brush which is for powder I used it on I used it with cream and it blended really easily I might get a powder contour just to see what that is like but I do like it and I was signing this Chan this Chanel perfume that I have has gone through a lot with me like I just be throwing it in my purse you heard it just now like slime still intact and I use it all the time and it smells so good. This is Chanel Chance, the pink bottle. What is the name? I don't know, but it's the pink bottle and it smells so delicious. Doesn't last that long though, but I just keep it on me. This is the first time I tried the Fenty foundation. I always see the matte one. This is the hydrating longwear foundation and I do really like it. I have it on right now. The color is perfect. First time ever using Fenty. I don't like matte because I feel like my powder already dries my skin. I want a dewy look. Starting off with matte for me just doesn't work. So I'm keeping her for sure. Then I got the Too Faced concealer, which I swear by. This is in the color Butterscotch. I might exchange this for the one that, this is my old one. This is in Cookie and it's a lot lighter than me. I have this one on now, and I think that's why I look a lot more natural because I don't have like that super light under eye because butterscotch is close to my skin tone. But for that, I can just wear the foundation. So I might be exchanging this for this color that I already use, and it makes my under eye super light, the cookie color, so. I don't know. I like, kind of like the natural look, so I might keep butterscotch. But, and it might work out in the summer. So this, this is also too faced. This is also too faced. Curled lashes, and I absolutely love it. I'm keeping it. The brush is super thick, and it adds a lot of microfibers, which like I got a, a concealer brush, also Sephora brand. Because someone recommends me like a really good set of brushes. Then I'll invest in some good ones. This for now is really good for me. I used it today. It's just a Sephora brand, same as my contour brush. I got the Milk 
Grip Set Refresh Spray. I sprayed it before and after I put my makeup and yeah, it, it really helped with like the base of my makeup. It just moisturized my face really well. Maybe I should get a primer if you guys have a good recommendation for the nation skin. Comment down below which primer I should get. This for now, I do really like as a setting spray. My favorite is Urban Decay. Definitely contemplating if this is Paris to Urban Decay. I think this is one of the things I should just go with what I know. So she might be returned, I don't know. This is so hard. Then I got Fenty Concealer. I got it in a darker shade for my contour. Love her. I don't know, I like, I like how smooth it is, so I might be keeping her. Shade 470, this is it. Also got some Rare Beauty blush, which I love. It's subtle enough for me. I've been using this one here, the By Mario one. With, I love the brush, but I do think this color is not for me. This is the color Raspberry, the color Love from Rare Beauty, and I just love this color. It's a perfect red. It's more red than pink. I think it's super pretty. I think it's better than the color that I got, and I like how it spreads. I just used my finger, and look, it's really pretty. I've been keeping her. This is Milk's Eyebrow Gel, and this is Sephora brand. I have both on. Normally I use Gatsby Blue, but I was getting sick and tired of the flakes and the white crust. Immediate flakiness, so I wanted to get an eyebrow gel. I got the milk one, which I have on now. I haven't opened the Sephora one, but I don't think it's that special. I think I'm just going to return her and keep her. Because for me, it's not flaky at all, but I feel like coming off. It looks cool now, but... I didn't put this on too long ago for it to no longer have products she might be going for. Me. So yeah, that's everything that I got from Sephora. Um, if you have any recommendations for combination skin, definitely let me know. So I think I'm gonna stick with the Fenty one. I kind of like it. I think it goes on. They want to know. I told you the truth. I can't just be with you. I'm only you. I got one virtual, got one in that day, the only two, man. How many times have I shown it through, man? How many nights I've been woke, swerving the pot holes, not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes, he thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? Soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? They want my life exposed, they want to know about the highs and Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now Baby I took a half and she took the whole thing, slow down Baby We took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town Baby Where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? Tired of beefing you bums, you can't even pay me enough to react Been waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at Hey guys, it's now Monday. I love cars, so I need to go to Porsche and do a little chest strap. I saw the cutest the pastel pink Porsche. Now I'm like, maybe the G-Wagon isn't my baby, but nah, I love the G-Wagon. We're at this Airbnb. I was so hesitant with another Airbnb, but this one had great reviews. It's a studio, but it's so fire and yeah we'll be here for most of the month it's really hard to find somewhere for a month so now we have to stay at two but again luckily this is our final month living airbnb to airbnb i'm excited to cook in this kitchen y'all it's really pretty it has a black island um you guys will see it in my next few vlogs i have it tagged down below but yeah i plan to make a bunch of content in here there was only two decent Airbnbs left with parking and like washer with everything that we need since like we're basically full on living here. I don't know if you guys care or not, but those boxes that we had packed and moved 
in Qatar at the airport. It's going to storage and once we move, like they're gonna deliver it. So we don't have everything that we moved to Qatar with, with us, but we do have about like four to five luggages and then a bunch of groceries that we've been getting, like seasonings. We were at two Airbnbs, like fully living in them. Yeah, we've been in two other ones before this. This is our third Airbnb and it's our second month now so i'm like getting rid of some stuff there and unpacking the place because if you know you know i am going to definitely make myself feel comfortable especially since we're gonna be here for a little over two weeks but yeah we have a bunch of stuff since we've just like fully been living here and we cook i totally prefer to cook here because yeah i'm not a fan of the food here i definitely need someone to recommend me some places i do cook a lot so we just have a bunch of household items now this morning we checked out of the hotel i'm glad that we found a reason to stay there and like do a little weekend staycation because it's a new hotel and it's part of the porsche tower it's really fire and i feel like i, I would always wonder what that hotel stay is like i'm gonna give you guys a little tour because why not all of our luggages are everywhere as you can see and over here i'm about to start unpacking in the bathroom i have a bunch of products and stuff literally in grocery bags because I we plan to just go from the airbnb to the next airbnb the host got us white wine so i'm definitely gonna have some white wine i feel like this weekend although it was so nice to do a little staycation and like we're so blessed it was kind of stressful like things don't go as planned and you have a bunch of things with you like, it's just annoying i plan to just unpack and get settled here and unwind with babe i just finished this show griselda and it was so far i wish there was like a few more episodes i don't know what show to watch next last night i actually started fellas can you believe that i've never seen it as a new yorker how you've never seen goodfellas i've never seen it <laughs> But it's on Netflix here in Germany, so I'm about to watch the rest of it tonight. I'm excited because it's pretty good. It's a good movie. I can't believe I've never watched it. Love like crime series, movies. Action and crime is my go-to. So Goodfellas, you know, popped up right in time because I had just finished Griselda. I realized I never closed my YouTube and I really appreciate all of you guys. I'm at almost 500 subscribers and I started, I think I started the beginning of December or November. So like in three, four months, I've gotten to 500 subscribers. So that's really cool. I'm really grateful that you guys are subscribing. But thank you for watching and all of your support. I'll see you guys next week.